Good morning everyone. As you can see, it's raining cats and dogs outside and the visibility is really low. Like, it's practically none. Zero at this point. It's not even considered a visibility because even yesterday the fog was so heavy that you could not see past like one meter or so like it wasn't really visible even yesterday so today we were told by our guide that if we if this weather persists then we will not be moving to Sandaku today we will be staying in uh, Tumling for the day so yeah let's see what happens what awaits us I think we are just gonna chill today because it's raining we can't even go outside so I think, I hope the weather clears up tomorrow because it's raining really heavy, really, really heavy. So after that shot, I slept for another hour and here we are now in the dining hall for breakfast. Our options were puri sabji, Tibetan bread and sabji and maggi. We opted for Tibetan bread because it was something new and we have never tried it before. Omelettes and maggi. The Tibetan bread was so good it was crunchy on the outside soft on the inside and they were making it fresh so you best believe that the first basket was gone as soon as it came on our table it was so tasty and because it was raining so heavily i also got some maggi because pahado wali maggi in the rain hits different and there was no way i could resist that it was hot and somehow tasted a little different than what i make at home but regardless a tasty breakfast whatsoever. The rain has finally stopped and we came out for a walk after lunch. The rain persisted quite a while and we honestly didn't know what to do. So we came out to walk the first chance we got. As you can see, the weather has finally cleared a little bit. One of us did fall down in the slippery ground once, but no one was hurt. Thank God. The next morning, we were woken up by a banging knock on our door. It was someone from the homestay who was telling everyone that the skies have cleared and the mountains are visible. So you best believe, we quickly got up, picked up the camera and walked out to witness Her Highness in her full glory. and she's going back and hiding again well we had a pretty good view so it was all worth it really
गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एज यू सो दैट वॉज क्वाइट द व्यू वी वो कप एट फाइव थर्टी इट्स करेंटली सिक्स थर्टी सेवन ओ क्लॉक एंड द व्यू हैज बिन अमेजिंग आफ्टर येस्टरडे इज वेरी स्टॉमी डे वी कुडेंट इवन रीच टू सा टूडे हैज बिन वेरी टूडे हैज बिन अ ब्लेसिंग ऑफ सॉर्ट्स आई हैव नेवर सीन कंचन जोंग आर दिस क्लियर लाइक द इंटायर रेंज एंड नॉट ओनली दैट इफ वी गो टू सांदाकू वी कैन सी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ एवरेस्ट रेंज एज वेल सो या वी आर मूविंग टू सांदाकू टूडे एंड आई स्टिल हैव एन ब्रश माई टीथ सो वी आर गोन गो फ्रेश एन आर गेट रेडी एंड देन मूव टू सांदाकू एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय दिस जर्नी विथ मी एज मच एज आई डिट Now we are on our way to Sandakfu, and we are going deeper into the Singalila forest. The first few minutes were great, until they weren't. The roads are really, really bad. Emphasis on really because, as you can see, these roads are what we call kacha rasta, aka roads which were not made for like traveling by car. Like you can do it on foot, but Yeah, not by car. I can promise you, if you have motion sickness or if you feel like throwing up on this road, nobody will blame you. And I can assure you, these roads will leave you hoping to reach your destination as soon as possible. we had to stop in kalpokri and walk a little bit to feel better our joints were screaming but in kalpokri there is a lake that is said to be black in color hence the name kala pokri kala means black pokri means i believe in nepali lake it's extremely cold as the winds are chilling here we walked up to the lake in serene silence as there were seldom anyone else passing us by it is a wonderful walk if you are coming by car <laughs> it's going to take like 30 40 minutes at best but i can guarantee you it's worth it After enjoying the serenity of the lake a little bit, we walked a little bit more and had some cha. It was so cold and we could use some cha and relax before we went back to the dreadful roads again. Our guides and our driver told us the story about why the roads are so unkempt because it is a military issue. I I am not sure I am in a position to say that story. 
वी हैव फाइनली रीच सांदू आफ्टर ग्रूलिंग आवर्स ऑफ जर्नी एंड द कोल्ड ईयर इज ऑलमोस्ट टू डैम चिलिंग एंड द होटल दैट वी आर स्टेइंग इन इज कॉल्ड सनराइज होटल इट इज अपेरेंटली द बेस्ट वन हियर एंड हैज द बेस्ट व्यू Walking inside the room, we get why people would choose to stay here because look at the view. The rest of the stay wasn't as pleasant, and I will tell you why at the end of this video. So stick around. Here we are, the next day, waiting for the sunrise in the freezing cold. Hands and noses were practically numb at this point. but i won't bore you i will simply let you enjoy the view so enjoy it with me Good evening, everyone. As you can see, I am in a hotel room. Sorry for that uh, light. So, um, yeah, we came back down from Sandakfu. You saw the view was great and everything, but I would like you to know a few things before you try to plan a trip like this to Sandakfu yourself. Number one, the roads are really, really bad. So. As you saw it rained cats and dogs on the second on the day we were supposed to move to Sandakfu so uh, our guide the one who was guiding us throughout the whole trip uh, i don't think you can do the trip without a guide i'm not sure but uh, we had a guide uh, he helped us out throughout the trip and he advised not to move that day so we did not and thankfully we did not because you saw the roads they were really really bad and like it is i wouldn't suggest uh, at least not from my part to come on a car here because the roads are really bad and because it rained there are no concrete roads they are mostly bouldered roads so they are not exactly the safest and the car got stuck a few times and Come at your own risk here. I would suggest uh, trekking it instead of coming on a car. But if you absolutely have to take a car, please keep in mind that if you're coming during a rainy season, it's not exactly the safest to commit to this journey. That's that. Number two, the place that we stayed, Sunrise uh, Hotel, did not have the best of ambiance. First of all the food was not great. I am not sure how uh, others would attain to this but the food was just not great. Even today's breakfast there was something that like uh, they served us poha in the buffet and the poha was expired. Like not not expired like it had a smell like a rotten smell which yeah you would not think that a hotel something that's renowned would serve you but apparently they do and their entire food menu is not that great and because it's so cold everything gets so cold quickly like 
you can't just if you don't serve proper food you can't eat it so yeah even the chapati that we had for dinner was not cooked through properly so yes to i would not suggest it because more over there was a entire party going on in the like in the bosom of the mountains there was an entire party going on and i with loud music and everything and it was encouraged by the hotel people so i don't know what to say to that so i would not suggest sunrise hotel i do i the place was great like it's really cold and everything but the view was totally worth it but i would not suggest sunrise hotel personally i don't know what others would say to it but that's just my opinion and third please make sure that you pack enough medicine especially if you are someone old because we had a case where one or one elder person did get sick because of the altitude if you are someone who has issues like these like asthma like i do uh, and like we we had quite trouble like even i had quite the trouble to settle there for the night so yes please make sure to take enough medicines for stomach for breathing tr troubles and everything please be prepared it's not like it's not easy sandakfu is not easy from our experience it was not a easy journey and certainly not something that um, is worth staying for two nights at least from my opinion it it isn't worth staying two nights certainly we did see uh, kanchenjunga everest and even bhutan uh, range of himalayas so yeah overall um, the views were great the place if you stay in a good place it's great we had quite the starry night and everything we even saw kanchenjunga and under the moonlight like the sleeping buddha we saw it under the moonlight so yes that's it that's all i have to say i'm not discouraging anyone to come here and to not to come here but if you do come here please come at your own risk and plan properly educate yourself before you come here because this is not a child's play it's 12000 feet above sea level so it's not easy it's not easy for any elderly person it's not easy for someone if you have asthma please make sure that you don't just go to sandakfu for straight from shiliguri because it's going to make you sick someone did that and their daughter felt sick and please do not do that it's a stupid move do not do that make a stop anywhere that is closer to the hike like tumling we did to acclimatize so that it's a little bit easier moreover i would say still suggest trek instead of coming on a car like until tumling it's a dream but after that it's a nightmare trust me it is a nightmare and please do not come without a guide because a guide guide will help you through the whole trip if we didn't have a guide uh, we pro probably would have left in the really stormy day but that was a good move he called it that uh, we should not move that day so thank you proloida for that uh, and other than that i'll i'm sorry for this long uh, whole outro but yes these are the things i think i feel if you are seeing me if you are i hope you do this helps this educates you in some way please do not make the same mistakes that we did or others do so yes other than that we are in tinchule today we moved to tin tinchule we are staying for the day tomorrow we'll be going to darjeeling uh, we'll shop we'll see we we'll eat and everything i'll show you obviously you'll tag along and other than that until tomorrow bye bye